Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to say that we transferred, we finished transferring uh, all our equipment, all our machines and CNC to the new facility. Uh, so new workshop is now working for about a week. And uh, right now we started uh, completing and making orders of uh, our buyers from Russia and across the world. So right now, if you were interested in buying some equipment or make some, ask us to make some custom equipment, you can send us pictures and drafts of uh, parts you would like to, and we will be glad to uh, trying to make it or just count how much it's going to be. Uh, the moving process was actually pretty, uh, it was pretty difficult. Yeah, it's kind of hard to me to tell you about each process of uh, moving our machines because it's well, like English is not my foreign language. And right now I'm just finished making video about uh, moving <laughs> transferring equipment in Russian language and that's why I'm pretty nervous. Yeah, uh, but first week we were transferred uh, our simple machines, uh, our presses, yeah, like hydraulic and mechanic press, and it was pretty, uh, pretty easy. The second week uh, we were transferring our CNC and it was like completely difficult, uh, very difficult, extremely, <laughs> yeah. We had to pull it out from our small buildings and uh, take them up and make uh, also some special uh, equipment for transferring these uh, lath and milling CNC because like they have special attachments where you have to uh, take it up and place it on a special vehicle, yeah, uh, on a track and move over here and over here. We had to take it with a crane, put it here. And actually it's very good that we have pretty high roof over here. So crane could uh, just drive in and <laughs> take up uh, and place CNC where it had to be.
And the third week was actually the most difficult. We had to transfer our laser cut CNC and uh, well, we thought that we could like break apart all we, uh, this CNC uh, laser cut, but unfortunately this module, we, the current model we have, uh, was not designed to be uh, detachable. Yeah, so we could only uh, take apart a few things and after that we had to make a special frame where the laser cut uh, had to be attached and placed on a special like low truck and it took about four days. At the first day of transferring laser cut we had to uh, detach everything as possible, uh, take out frame and uh, other stuff on the second day there was like heavy rain all day, uh, just like a tropical stuff. <laughs> yeah, and we uh, were transferring it over a year and it was like also pretty difficult because we had a huge amount of equipment over here. And uh, we had to take something outside and to have some space for the grain to uh, come in, get yeah, to driving and uh, just place the laser cut and frame somewhere here. And then two days we were spending for assembling the laser cut CNC and uh, turning that on. And hopefully everything went well. Uh, but in that, then in two days we had a problem with that CNC and uh, there was like huge mistake in the process uh, and the laser cut was fell, falling off uh, on the problem, on the troubleshooting. But I fixed it and that's a, also a great news and right now uh, ha it has no problem at all. As, same as uh, with the other two CNCs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, in the end of this video, I have to say special thanks to uh, you guys for our buyers who made orders uh, during the process of um, transferring our equipment, our machines to the new facility. And thank you guys, we are making your equipment as fast as possible. And I'm staying in uh, this facility since uh, every day since 7 to 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm in contact with Sergey, who is international manager. And in case of misunderstanding, we contact with each other and we make changes in your products. Then special thanks to all our team in the workshop. Uh, without their help, it would be much more expensive and might take more time uh, just for transferring all equipment over here because when you are like trying to contact with a company who can make this happen uh, you spend a lot of time for paperwork and much more money compared to uh, doing everything by yourself so great thanks uh, to all our team uh, thank you so much guys uh, they probably won't watch this video in English but I did say same in, in, in Russian video yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you like it, uh, this video, and uh, thank you for your words of support. Uh, I really appreciate And uh, there's going to be much more videos about our manufacture, about our workshop, and how we make your equipment in English language as well. So stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe and uh, maybe share with your friends and people who are interested in distilling and distilling equipment. Thank you for watching. Happy distilling!